Hey guys and welcome back to episode 2 of my Amazon Lordings TV series Numenor series where we are continuing our journey throughout the lines of the kings of Numenor. If you haven't seen episode 1 of the series please check it out as it will be easy to understand. By today's video we will be looking at two kings, Tar Vardamir Nolimon and Tar Amundil. So let's get into today's video. Firstly, let's quickly summarise where we ended off in the last episode. So we saw the eventual death of Elwes Tarminyata, who was the first king of Numenor, and not knowing what would happen to the crown next. After the death of Elwes, the crown of Numenor went to Vardame Nolamon, who would now be called Tar Vardame, and he became king. Vardame was the eldest of the four sons of Elwes Tarminyata, and was therefore heir to the scepter of Numenor. He was noted as an exceptional scholar whose only desire was to study and not to rule. The scepter of Numenor fell to him on his father's death. The extraordinary length of Elwes' life meant that Vardemir was 381 years old at the time which was even old for a Numenorian of royal blood and he wisely passed the scepter on immediately to the eldest of his own children, who would rule as King Tar Amandil. However, Vardime was still officially counted as the second king of Numenor, having nominally ruled for a single year. Vardime died in the year 471 of the Second Age at the age of 410. Now let's go on to the next king of Numenor, who was Tar Amandil. Tar Amundil was the third king of Numenor. He ruled for 148 years, from 442 of the Second Age to 590 of the Second Age. Tar Amundil was legally the third king, but actually its second ruler. Tar Amundil had three children, two sons, Elendil and Erendur, and a daughter, Myron. Just as his father had yielded the scepter before his death, Tar Amundil abdicated in 590 and was succeeded by his eldest son Elendil, who would rule as Tar Elendil. This tradition of renouncing the scepter a few years before death was observed by most of the rulers of Numenor until Tar and Tanamir. So, throughout this time, we have seen the successful line of the Numenorean kings moving further down and successfully. As, throughout the history of the world in general, it was quite difficult for a king to move his kingship and lineage down to his son successfully. So this time frame shows stability within Numenor and its kingship. During this time also, the culture in Numenor started to grow as it was a new kingdom and a lot was learned during this time. Of course this peace and prosperity didn't last forever and you will find out why in the next few episodes if you don't know already. But thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, please like subscribe, but until the next episode my friends, goodbye.